Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, no, no worries. I know. I got desperate, so. Well, of course. I'm going to bring you out when I find out you have massive tea. All right, guys, are we ready to order? Yeah, uh, the lady will have the lamb ragu, and I will have the eye fillet steak, thanks, medium rare. Excellent. Oh, and also, what YouTube video pairings would you have with the meals? The lamb ragu, the chef recommends a Best of Stewie Griffin season six to eight compilation. Oh! You could also have a two and a half hour retrospective on a PS2 game no one's heard of. Oh, sounds good. And what about the steak? The chef recommends a Hassan Piker Best of compilation. <laughs> Ooh, not really my thing. Or my personal favourite, four Malaysian men building a pool in their backyard. I'm gonna go with the uh, four Malaysian men building a pool for 20 minutes. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I might just get a montage of Subway Surfers on an iPhone. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check your ID. Oh, um... It's... That's a pair of breasts. It's... it's actually scary. All I do when I... I eat anything, I have to watch a YouTube video. I hate your shoes, I hate your head, I hate your face, I hate your bread, I hate your walk, I hate your talk, and the grassy hate your legs. Rick Ross is big as hell, I hate him too, if you can't tell. Man, cut the beat. Drake! I hate you, Drake! Drake, I hate, I hate you, Drake! Fuck their brains, Drake! What's wrong with my brain? I remember you as conflicted. Oh Drake. my. I will say uh, that the Not Like Us is just a really good song. Mr. Mufu, check this out. Ah, I thought that was a trick in videos that you reversed it or something. Oh. Let's lower the bar so you get a feel for it. Your body. Oh. Oh. I just feel like there's a lot of weight. Okay, well, I mean, we can start adding some weight to you with a weight vest. It's oh, yeah. Right. You are now at 183.5. Oh. 201.5. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Ah, yes. Yeah, we can go up 50. <laughs> Shut up. 252.5. Oh, the jump is gonna be oh. harder than anything. Oh, oh my God. Let's see if I can do it again. Yeah. God. Okay, I see. <laughs> you just, you're, you're all pogging, all right? I, I, like, I, I, I get it, and it is pretty sick what he's doing. Nobody, I, I'm like cringing because, dude, that's like speed run any percent to dislocate your shoulder. You just destroyed everyone's excuses if my <laughs> body weight or lower. Wow. All you bodybuilders out there that weigh 250, this is still possible. You just gotta work on it. <laughs> I think they flexy, I guess. <laughs> I, I think you just have to have double joints or flexible. Ah! Cramp in my neck. Ah. I gotta keep up with daily stretch. Dude does crazy shit with his shoulder. Nugs sprains his neck while sitting. Fuck you, dude. Ma'am, I wrote your citation You're for going. You're writing me a ticket? Yes, ma'am. Do you know who my father is? Why? Didn't your mother tell you? Is that too far? You can have it. Oh. Oh my goodness. No way. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna cry. That was so sweet. It's okay. Do you want it? Oh. I'm gonna cry. It's okay. You can trust me. It's okay. You can trust me. Things that I don't trust. People who say you can trust me. Also true. This is a rock and this is water. If you pour water on a rock, nothing happens. But if you pour water on a rock, nothing happens. But if you pour water on a rock, nothing happens. But if you pour water on a rock, time after time after time, nothing happens. I thought something was going to happen. I love science, man. Yo, uh. I was sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> I 
lot of things to name today. Let's dive right in. All right. The first uh, is a speech condition where people struggle saying the letter R. Roticism. With an R. Roticism. Why are you rolling it? How about when people struggle to pronounce the letter L? Lambdacism. Yeah. <laughs> With an L. Mm -hmm. You want to make the first letter the exact letter they can't pronounce next. You know what? Let's move away from speech conditions. How about that? We were making great progress, but fine. What should we call it when a word is, is read the same way forwards and backwards? Palindrome. Palindrome. Oh, okay, yeah. That's good. I like that. Um, and, and what should we call it when someone has an irrational fear of, of these palindromes? Ibophobia. All right, how do I spell that? A-I-B-O-H-P-H-O-B-I-A. Ibophobia. Wait. A I B O. It took me a second. Women, what is a surprising fact you discovered about men? One, male friendships and female friendships are so different. Yes. I know my best friend's blood types. My husband received two birthday cards yesterday from his friends with his last name misspelled. Yep. Two, that they have a whole. S yep. True. I'm surprised. He's lucky he even got cards at all. What? That's a big deal. Forget the last name is spelled. We got a card. Set of unspoken rules about where to pee in public bathrooms. Three, their yeah. swords can move on their own. Four, yes. men like things women seem to be insecure about. Five, at my first job, I used to work mostly with women, then switched to IT, and now it's mostly men. I was surprised to learn that guys don't hold a grudge as much as the women I worked with did. I always say this, two guys get into an argument, they go fight outside, they get into a fist fight, they're buddies after. They gain respect for each other, they'll have a drink, and they won't talk shit anymore. They're not gonna go the next day and be like, dude, you know, oh, I fucked them up, I hate them, you know. No, that's it. They're actually gonna be super kind to whenever they see a dude like, yo, bro, what's up, man? And have a lot of respect. Women, they will apologize and be like, no, you know, I'm sorry, no, I love you. And all the way until the very end, they will always talk shit and hate. We'd have an argument on Friday. I was worked up about it all weekend and worried how it would affect our future relationship. Then come Monday and boom, nothing. They genuinely seemed like they let it go. It's a pretty yeah. sweet thing. Yeah. Six, that men rarely ever receive compliments in their lives. It's I true. purposely go out of my way to express even the smallest compliments in case they haven't heard one for a long time. When do I ever get, I get, I get a compliment from you guys when I do a fucking crazy speed run challenge or something. And it's a whopping five minutes of calling me a professional gamer, a giga chat, and then it's right back to the same bullshit. Not even sometimes, sometimes three of spam, cheering, and then that's it. And that, that's more than most. I'm still shocked that the dude got a birthday card. Forget the misspelling of the last name. That's mind blowing that his friend sent him a birthday card. Next. Me and someone I hated a few years ago are now really good friends. We settled the argument playing wheelchair jousting. I lost. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are friends. <laughs> Oh, Wario. Wario, what are you doing here? Oh god, how do I do a British Wario? Oh, fuck, um... Let's hear it. Oh, I am the uh, manager of uh, Tesco, the, um... Oh, I'm the manager of Tesco, oh, God, I can't do it! That was pretty I'm good! I'm the manager of Tesco, the Oh, god. Alright, geezer. I just want a bag of crisps. Good, good luck at getting on without money. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. It does sound Scottish, though, yes. It does sound more Scottish. Definitely Scottish. Uh. Hey, guys. I bet you can't make a sentence without the letter A. You thought you just did something there, didn't you? Go f*** yourself. That's my sentence. It doesn't have an A in it. Well, sorry to burst your bubble. But numerous sentences could be constructed without employing the first letter of the English lexicon. Fuck you. Oh! I swear to God, not pre-watch. I swear on my life I've never seen that before. I swear to God. I swear on everything. I've never seen that. Never. Never seen that. Ever. Swear to God. I went to an anonymous That's glory right. hole at a house in Kentucky, and when I arrived, one of the cars out the front looked kind of familiar. Oh. And then it hits me. I'm in the house of a HR executive from where I work. Oh. oh. I could have left. <sighs> but instead, I gave him a big old mouthful full of my population paste. <laughs> population <laughs> I've never heard that. Population 
Population that paste. is a jailable offence, that term, surely. Population paste? Oh, my lanta. I've seen him at work since and there's been no looks or anything and still to this day I don't think the HR executive knows he sucked my dick and had my schlong jelly in his belly. <laughs> schlong jelly ain't that. Population paste is, ba- is like the... Schlong jelly is... On today's episode of Funk Tries to Figure Out Fine Dining, we, we got this here three three Michelin star restaurant serving up some dessert. And it's it's bubbles. What? In a big expensive looking bowl. Hey look, I understand this type of dining isn't for me. I mean some people go out to eat to feel better than other people and I go out to, you know, not be hungry anymore. But I mean the, the bubbles uh the skeeting down on, on my, my what looks like uh, a slab of ice cream with two pretzel rods sticking out of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I'll probably just blow the bubbles off of it, grab the yeah, pretzel rod, with it? eat it, divorce my wife for making me spend $500 on this crap, then go to Dairy Queen, get myself a Reese peanut butter cup blizzard. Call it a day. That's just my opinion. There you go. You eat the bubbles? I mean, that's a pretty base take, yeah. And then you spend $8 for that Dairy Queen. That's going to be bigger and fill you up, too. Porygon, is this normal one? It's a prime gamer! Wait, we have grass. We have magical leaf. Oh. It's a grass type move against the gamer. Oh. It's gonna be super effective. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Yep. Oh. That was true. Don't worry, bro, I got this. That was pretty sick. Next. Okay, now do that in flight sim. Ah. Off. <laughs> Did you know it's commonly thought that pound cake got its name because the original recipe required one pound of flour, one pound of butter, one pound of sugar? However, this is false. It's actually named after the place it was invented. Pound Town. You know, where your mom lives. <laughs> well, see you next time. That is so dumb, but I love it. What? What the f- What the fuck? This is fucking rocket launcher on your left. <laughs> Fun fucking game, trash can! Oh my god. <laughs> 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 GG, French truck boys, the shotgun is overpowered! Shit upon your chest! We call that one the American baguette! Right upon your fucking titties! <laughs> 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 my brown butt uh, baguette! <laughs> right on your forehead! Yes! Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is he okay? <laughs> He's getting waterboarded by the French right now. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Holy oh, crap. No. Wow. Well, he always oh, laughs god. like that? That's nuts. Well. Wow. Is this water coming out of the outlet? What? He's turning on his hair dryer with the water is coming from the outlet? This is fake on so many levels. Let's give it a try. Never try my experiments yourself. I have two cups of clean tap water with two spoons in it connected to the power lines. If I plug it in, I can turn on an LED light with it. <laughs> there you go. If I put my fingers across the water, I shouldn't feel anything. 
Ow. I'll short between the two waters and we will see how much current will run through it. That's six milliamps. <laughs> no wonder I feel pain. It's no way enough to turn on an LED light bulb. See, I put the legs oh, between the two no. waters. Uh. Now let's put some salt into the waters to make them even more conductive. Two, three amps? This one should be enough to turn on the light bulb. There you go. <laughs> Still shouldn't be enough for a full power hair dryer though. No, let's turn off the heating element and try again. Oh, oh there you go. I really doubt if the guy has high density salt water coming out of his walls. So it's fake. That was scary. Way different and better than regular chicken nuggets, 100,000%. It's not to be funny or anything, it just, it really does. I got another one for you. You know the mac and cheese, all right? You have, if you take the ones, the regular mac and cheese by uh, Kraft, right? The two Kraft ones, all right? The regular mac and cheese, the ones with the shapes, no matter what the shape is, SpongeBob, whatever, tastes better than the regular ones. It's the same mac and cheese you made the same way, but the ones with the like shapes, whether it be SpongeBob, taste a million times better. Survivor.